Okay, okay this is my that. question because when I was lo- I pulled up your info before you got here, like just random stuff, and one of the first things I saw was you- before you got the good place, you had thought about like giving it all up. The good place was yeah. sort of like your salvation. You were like, I yeah. gotta find a real job and, and quit acting. What what yeah. was that? What was that reasoning? Why? W- well, you where know, were you at in your life that you thought that? So funny because it sounds way more dire than. Than I than I think I meant for it to. Well, it was we're like, all, it was like, yeah, but we all feel that way. All of us yeah. actors feel that way. Yeah, at some point. So I'm just curious what you were thinking because you well, had, you mentioned you had the children's show where you did like fifty fifty seven episodes of the well, children's I, show, the electric actually, company. They I did something like seventeen or something like that. But they had us in these in, interstitials. Oh sure, you know. So like there's so like a narrative stuff. Yeah. So it was like yeah, I was in but 50 still, you did episodes, seventeen but, of those. You did a year on Broadway. You have yeah. all these guest spots. Yeah. It seems like from my from my viewpoint, you were kicking ass. You know, so where were yeah. you thinking? What were you? What was your thought? There? It was. It was. You know. It was. And you know, to be fair, like I, I had a lot of friends who said to me, like, "Bro, shut up! <laughs> like you're doing fine. <laughs> shut up!" Right. And I was like, "No, but yeah, you know." But I think it was. I I I I had I had completely sort of tied up my self worth into whether or not I was working. Right. And it's a really dangerous thing to do as an actor because you spend a lot of time chilling. You spend right. a lot of time well, just that's what, waiting. Well, that's why I asked about rituals in the beginning. You yeah. got to do something to get your mind off. Yeah. Not working. Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, like, I um, I mean, I guess one of the things that I do when I'm not working, actually, when I go back to it, is like I play music with a, a lot of my theater friends. Oh, that's and, awesome. Yeah. That's really fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, have a, we have a band, a bunch of old theater men that would have been awesome to share at the beginning of the podcast (laughs) yeah yeah i know but i was like it it didn't really become a a, a ritual ritual i guess it was more of just like sort of like a thing that we do to stay yeah yeah to stay stay creative and have fun and kind of you know um but like um but you were wrapped up you you your net worth you thought was based on if you were whether or not i was working and also i was financially in some serious straits you know because it's just like you can't you can't. Because this like, had been a few years after the Broadway show. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, it was just like, okay, well, you know, I, um, you know, I, like, I'm, I'm getting closer. To, I'm closer to forty than I am to thirty. Right. And so I, I need to, I need to figure out a how to not tie all my self worth up into in, into whether or not I was working, like, you know, as an actor. Right. But. um you know, I just I, I needed to I needed to find a way to just get some sort of stability so I can invite other things into my life. So I'm not so singularly focused on this one thing that right. I'm trying to do. And um, and so for me, it was like it was never like I wasn't going to like I was going to I was thinking like okay, I I, I could give it up, I could you know quit entirely, and that d- I definitely had that thought. But I think that I also sort of. I was like, okay, well, I can, I can, I can work, but I can also just work when I want to work, and I can have a real job, right? You know, like no longer will theater and will you know acting be like the center of my life. It'll be a thing that I do for an extra curricular, yeah, yeah, for fun. And and if if it becomes, will I be okay doing that? And I'd sort of come, I I'd, I'd sort of come to be at peace with that. I was like, you know, I think I could do that. I think if it's not my primary focus, I'll just enjoy it again. Right. And it got to a point where I wasn't enjoying it because everything meant so much. You right. know, there's like desperation right. everywhere. And so what were you going to, what were you planning on starting as a job? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> no clue. So this is a, a bit off, but this yeah. is where you were, you were, it was, you were looking a bit ahead, but this is where you were at. Yeah. And then this pilot season came around and the good place came. Yeah. And that obviously all changed. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. What a redemption story! Yeah, no, it's great. No, it's yeah, no the uh, yeah Mike Mike Sure and, and company came and got me. Literally, at, at, at you know, I was on the cliff. I was definitely on the cliff. I was just sort of like ah, uh, you know, <laughs> this is uh and I you know and, and maybe maybe the fact that I was sort of relaxed about the whole thing because I mean, even going yeah. into that audition, I was like, again, I was like, well, look, this will probably be my last pilot season i'm not going to focus on this stuff anymore the way i I have been right so it's like i'm not going to make any special trips for pilot season i'm not going to like drop everything that i am doing at whatever time to go be at this audition because it's just like i'm not it's just like it's just i I can't i can't rely on that yeah and now you know but getting this job was like you know it was it, it couldn't have come at a better time yeah that's amazing yeah what a what a great story yeah